invite our distinguished gathering to stand for the arrival of our special guest. Honorable ministers who stayed here present, my delegation and I are here with emotion as I stand here, at the same time with joy. Emotion that uh, in as far back as 1881, as the occupant of the Golden Stool, Kofiti then is my son. And he comes here after he's been taken to Britain, where the British thought that they were going to school him to come back and educate my people as if we didn't know what we were doing and that to be schooled in English as if because my language was not acceptable to come back and, Christ and Christianize us. But then the two sons who were taken away, one died and then one, Kofinti, because of tuberculosis, they decided to send him down to Trinidad because the weather was similar to Ghana. And this is the edifice that I see here that he came to design and then construct. So what the British thought they were sending him away, I get a benefit of my brothers and sisters here in Trinidad with this edifice as I stand here. So to me, it is glad gladdening for me to be here to see this from 1883. And for me now as the occupant of the Gordons to standing here to look at this edifice and say that I proudly say that my son designed and built it. That goes to inure to the uh, relationship between Trinidad and Tobago and Ghana. And this affirms the resilience of the black people that we cannot and we shall not be conquered or subdued by any other race but ourselves to develop and then to know that we are civilization started from Africa and whether we like it or not that is how it is and we have to accept that the whole world has to accept that civilization started from Africa it is from Africa that mankind developed into Asia and everywhere else. And therefore, we should feel proud that as blacks, my son built this house, designed this one, and therefore I stand here with pride and I come back, to, I come to Trinidad. When they took my people away from Africa through that gate of no return, they thought I was not going to come back, and I'm here. And I've had people from here also coming to Ghana. So the gate of return couldn't stop us. And we are here now to witness this. The name Kofinti will stand forever. The Asante Kingdom will stand forever with the Trinidad, with Trinidad and Tobago. And I can assure you that I'm here with pride standing under this roof, which was designed and constructed by my son. So. I thank you very much for this honor of bringing me here. I thank the government and people of Trinidad and Tobago for letting me experience this edifice of a signal that uh, contributes to the security of Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you very much.
Your Royal Majesty, put him for you, Osei Tutu II, my cabinet colleagues, Mrs. Penelope Beckles Robinson, Minister of Planning and Development, Senator the Honorable Dr. Amory Brown, Minister of Foreign and CARICOM Affairs, Mrs. Paula Gopi Schoon, Minister of Trade, the Paramount Chiefs and Chiefs of Ashanti, His Excellency Samuel Yor Nsia, High Commissioner for the Republic of Ghana to Trinidad and Tobago, Ms. Margaret McDonnell, McDowell Thompson, Chair of the National Trust, Permanent Secretary, Ms. Simone Thornmora Kinones of the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and the Arts, other permanent secretaries, other distinguished guests, specially invited guests, members of the media, good morning. On behalf of the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and the Arts, it is a privilege to bring greetings today at the historic Fort George here in St. James, Port of Spain. As Minister, I am deeply honored to address you on this momentous occasion, celebrating the remarkable historical significance of Fort George and the invaluable contributions of Prince Kofi Enti of Ashanti, West Africa, in constructing the signal station atop this majestic fort. Fort George is a timeless emblem of our nation's past and holds a special place in our hearts and minds. For it bears witness to the interwoven threads of history that have shaped the cultural tapestry of Trinidad and Tobago. Originally built under British rule, the fort served as a strategic vantage point to safeguard our beloved islands from potential threats and incursions. But it is the signal station constructed by Prince Kofi Enti of Ashanti that adds a profound layer of significance to this iconic landmark. Today, as we delve into the historical significance of Fort George, we can also recognize the transformative impact that this site has had in attracting visitors from near and far. Fort George stands as a testament to the global connections that have defined our history and enriched our cultural heritage. Travelers in search of authentic cultural encounters find solace within the walls of Fort George as they learn about the astonishing tale of Prince Kofi Enti, a man whose journey from West Africa to our shores left an indelible mark on our collective identity. This exemplifies the resilience, determination, and ingenuity that runs through the veins of our nation. His contribution on the island of Trinidad, and more particularly to the construction of the signal station, reflects the lasting legacy of African heritage and traditions that have become an inseparable part of our Trinbegonian life. Your Royal Majesty, your present presence here today serves as a profound reminder of the enduring ties between Trinidad and Tobago and Ghana. Your visit honors the shared history and cultural exchanges that have enriched both our nations. Your presence symbolizes the strength of the bonds we have forged and serves as a beacon of hope for future collaborations and partnerships. Fort George, with its rich historical narrative and architectural splendor, stands as a magnet for cultural and heritage tourism. And to ensure its continued significance, we continue to invest in its preservation and promotion. In conclusion, this fort serves as a, as a living testament to the unity of our past and the richness of our shared heritage. Let us join hands in celebrating the tapestry of our history, embracing our cultural diversity and welcoming all comers to experience the magnificence of Fort George and the spirit of Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you for this opportunity to give these brief remarks and may this commemorative event be etched in our hearts forever.
I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> The first family of Hong Kong, Shia, Nemri Kasa. Sebeka, I have chosen Mu Nyame Nai. The boy Faso, I have chosen Mu Chen Nyame. Sebedi, I have chosen Bakuin Bodiya Chedi. Next, Kofin Roni, I have been to Mu Nyame Nai. Now, who are they?